Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the original Detroit style Buddies pizza. This is the pepperoni pizza. Um, it says hand stretched dough, edge to edge cheese, baked in a seasoned metal pan. This was $13.99 at Meyer. And uh, this one's unique to us because it has the, the sauce on top like that, and we are not used to that. Honestly, this is a pepperoni. I expected to see pepperoni on top. Under the cheese. Ah, okay. Well, the cookie instructions are different. You do not preheat the oven. It's, they're very clear. Do not preheat the oven. Remove all packaging and clear wrapping from pizza. Keep pizza in the seasoned metal tray. Place the pizza onto the middle rack of a cold oven. Then turn on the oven and set it to 425. Bake for 22 to 28 minutes until the cheese is melted and lightly browned. Each oven is a bit different in its heating time, so be sure to check on your pizza regularly after 18 minutes. If the cheese is lightly browned and melted, your pizza is ready. Cut into squares and enjoy. So we are going to set our timer for 18 minutes because regardless of how long you leave it, you at least need to check it after 18 minutes. So we'll set the timer for 18 minutes, but then when we come back, we'll tell you the total time we had it in for. We had the pizza in the oven for the full 28 minutes. It just, we kept checking on it. And we, Kevin and I like our pizza to be more like a golden brown. Yeah. And so this is still lighter than what we would normally have it. Um, but we, we didn't want to go too much longer because you can see that it got a little scald on this, which we don't mind at all. But, um... Yeah, so we didn't want to leave it much longer. So Kevin cuts it right inside the pan, and uh, then he can scoop it right out. Well, so you <laughs> so you think the pepperoni is underneath that cheese? Yeah, I think so. So we won't even get to look at it. No, no you really don't get to see it. Hmm. It's down there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it says, The Buddy Story. Buddy's Pizza Restaurants first opened in Detroit in 1946, introducing America to a new type of square pizza. Baking the pizza in seasoned steel pans gave the pizza a unique crispy golden crust with edge-to-edge -edge cheese. We follow our original award-winning restaurant recipe. Our dough is double proofed and hand stretched for that light texture and artisanal look. Pepperoni and other toppings are layered directly on the dough to allow the rich flavors to be absorbed into the crust. That's where they're at. Whis what? Under the cheese. Wisconsin brick cheese is shredded and sprinkled across the pizza all the way to the edges of the pan creating a crispy cheesy crust. Three wide strips of Buddy's tomato sauce are ladled across the top of the pizza giving it that signature Detroit style look. We are the only pizza that is baked in a metal pan. Uh, six servings are in the container. One sixth of the pizza, 175 grams, is 460 calories. My plate, Kevin's plate, with three pieces, it's like 1,300 calories, over 1,300 calories. Oh, right, it's it is. So it ain't low calorie pizza. Uh, I see pepperoni. Uh, yeah, I've got a piece of pepperoni yeah. right here. I'll yeah. Try just the pepperoni. Hmm. It's good with that cheese. Their cheese has tons of flavor. It's amazing. I mean, that you taste more cheese than them. I know. It's amazing how how much how flavor. flavorful that cheese uh -huh. is. Because most pizzas, that even a cheese pizza, even the ones we absolutely love. Mm -hmm. The cheese is not really the star of the cheese pizza. It's the like the, the garlic crust. sauce or mm -hmm. the crust or something like that. This one, the cheese just really stands out. Even even with the pepperoni, the cheese stands out. And I do like the seasoning. Mm -hmm. You do get the seasoning. It's not spicy. Mm -hmm. The tomato sauce is also very just tomato sauce. It's very tomatoey, kind of thick like a tomato paste. Um, I don't taste a lot of like, like different seasonings in there. Mm. I guess it's like a, 
a traditional pizza sauce. It's just not really strong flavor wise. Think about when we would buy our own pizza bread, make pizza bread mm -hmm. with pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's not like it's, it, it's, it tastes like tomato, but it's not like it has a lot of seasonings. No, no it's got a little bit of seasoning, but not much. I like that crust, even though it's not mm -hmm. brown, it's really good and crispy. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, for a pepperoni pizza, I'm not really getting much pepperoni. You haven't either? I mean, I've well, seen them here and I'm there. I'm eating but, it. Yeah, but I don't really taste that. I, I'm eating the pepperoni, but all this that you see, where on any other pizza, normally that would be crust. That is actual cheese. Mm. That's cheese. It goes all the way to the edge, just yeah, like they said. Yeah, it's true. And it has such a strong flavor. It's just, it's so delicious that... It really overwhelms the pepperoni, even. Mm -hmm. And the tomato sauce is, mm. I got a big bite of it just now. It's, it's kind of sweet. I like it. I do too. Do you like the, do you like this pepperoni then? Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's got a good oh, texture yeah. to it. Good and crispy. I the, like. Even the bottom of the crust is good and crispy. Mm -hmm. Is it hotter this, this time? Yes. Um, I like this one more than the cheese one we Okay, because I do too. Um, and uh, we left this one in a little bit longer than we did the cheese yes. one as well. That makes a huge difference too, because mm -hmm. this one's really good and hot. Now, that's what I would say, is I would leave it in the longest time you can. Mm -hmm. It's at 28 minutes, I would leave it in for 28 minutes. Because I, you got a really hot oven. Mm -hmm. Because the texture of that, is terrific yeah, it's crispy. not soggy it's crispy the cheese on top around the edges is crispy um i do have to say for it to be a pepperoni pizza you do not taste pepperoni at all mm -hmm. i know it's on there i see it i'm eating it <laughs> but you are really just tasting the crust and that really really great cheese yeah, the cheese is the star mm. It's good, but not necessarily for pepperoni pizza. Mm. <laughs> so, if you're going to get one... But, that pepperoni must add enough seasoning to it to make a difference, because we're both saying we'd mm -hmm. like this one better. Well, I think it's the bake time, too. Yeah. I think that bake time makes all the difference in the mm -hmm. world, because the longer you cook that cheese, the more flavor, the, it just enhances the flavor. And crispy and stuff, too. So it just has a really good texture. I'm going to bring up the, I'm going to be the party pooper, and I'm going to bring up the same issue I brought up before, and that's the price. It's $14. I think that's too much. Yeah, for I mean, it's frozen, really good, but... For a frozen pizza. Yeah. Um, and I always get questioned, does this take the place of your favorite pizza? No, it doesn't. I would put this in my lineup. It would be my number three. It would be in my top three. Um, and is price part of that though? Uh, uh, if you're just going by flavor, would it be number three? If I'm just going by flavor, I'd still put it number yeah. three. No, because, um, yeah, I would still put it number three. I still have my top two, and they're a lot cheaper, a lot more affordable. This is a very good pizza. I just don't think it's worth $14. Yeah, it's awfully expensive. Yeah. But Especially if you're splitting it between us, you know, that's seven bucks a piece. Yeah. I can go to. Papa John's or someplace you and get a pizza for that You could go to Domino's price. or wherever and get one mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, for less than that. So that's going to be something you'll have to decide. We've only seen the cheese and the pepperoni in our area. Who knows? We might end up getting more. I don't know. But if we, they do, we'll definitely try them because these. Oh yeah, I do think they're good. Because for for us to say it would be in the top three, we've tried a lot of pizza on the channel. We've tried a lot mm -hmm. of brands. So for for us to put that, would you say it's in your yeah, top three yeah, too? Okay. Say so. so yeah, so that's saying a lot. So it's still a really really good pizza, mm -hmm. um, and it'll be even better if they bring the price down. Yeah. It'll make me feel better about buying. Exactly. It. it would make more people buy it if they lowered that price. Yeah. So I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.